Can magnets damage your gadgets? Well, the answer to this is no, but kind of yes. A magnet won't damage an entire device, but parts of it. So I'm going to go through all the major factors to give you a proper conclusion. And let's start off with the displays. During the good old days, displays were made using the CRT technology, where a beam of electrons are focused towards the screen and they are deflected using magnetic fields to produce a proper image. So when an external magnet is brought near that screen, it can distort the image and long-term magnetic contact can even damage the display. But coming back to the present, all our gadgets either have LCD or OLED display and they both use electrical phenomenon to display the picture, so a magnet has nothing to do with the display. The next thing to consider is the storage. If you have a traditional hard disk drive on your computer like mine, then there is a good chance that a magnet can completely destroy the data on your drive because hard drives and older technologies like floppy use magnetically coated disks to store data. But nowadays mostly all computers use SSDs and all smartphones and other gadgets use flash memory to store data and they store data electrically so there is no problem. And speaking of electricity, let's move on to batteries. And this is possibly the biggest magnet myth I get to hear very often. My child, keep your phone away from the magnet. It is going to drain your phone's battery. You don't believe me? I'm a tech expert. I've been using a phone since 1976. A telephone. Yes, magnets can drain batteries, those metal watch batteries, not the lithium ion batteries used in gadgets because lithium is a non-magnetic alkaline metal. So household magnets cannot drain the battery, but industry grade heavy magnets can drain the battery because of the presence of a weak magnetic organic compound found in lithium batteries. And by the way, if you want to see more of these magnificent tech videos, then smash that subscribe button. Alright, let's move on to speakers and the interesting fact here is that a speaker itself contains a magnet which forms the basis of its working. So when an external magnet is brought near the speaker, then that magnet can interfere with the speaker's own magnetic field resulting in a distorted sound which can make a good song sound like a dying donkey. And this kind of distortion can happen only when the magnet is big enough to interfere with the speaker's magnetic field. And it is always a good practice to keep speakers away from magnets. Now let's talk about cameras. I mean cameras are not directly affected by a magnet but certain features associated with the camera are affected. For example optical image stabilization and closed loop autofocus. These systems all use some magnetic sensors to balance and focus the lens towards the image. So an external magnet is going to ruin that system. And considering cell phone signals, NFC, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all the communication stuff magnets have nothing to do with them as they all use some kind of radio waves for communication which shows extreme resistance towards external magnetic fields. The final component I want to talk about is the compass. So some of you might have already tested this on your phone at some point. When you bring a magnet near the phone and open the compass app, the north pole points towards the direction of the magnet rather than the actual north pole. And this is pretty self-explanatory. And try to keep your magnets away from the topmost part of your phone where the compass is usually located. Alright, apart from these components, some phones have built-in magnets for purposes like wireless charging. Apple MagSafe is a good example for this. And even few accessories like the phone back case have magnets to attach to things like car mounts and charging docks. So these magnets are always designed to be placed in a safe position such that they don't interfere with other components in the device. Plus, they are not even as powerful as those little household magnets. They barely hold a paper clip. So official magnetic accessories are completely safe to use. And here are the key takeaways to consider. The first thing is the power and type of the magnet. So it is safe to place household magnets near gadgets, but industry grade neodymium magnets can play havoc with your devices. The second thing is the direction of attachment. Take a smartphone for example. All the magnetic sensitive components like camera, speakers and compass are either placed in the topmost or bottommost part of the device. So it is always safe to avoid contact with these positions in the device. But regardless of the position, direction, power and type of the magnet, it is always safe to prevent long term magnetic contact because the magnet can magnetize other metal parts in your device like those side rails whose magnetic field can then interfere with the sensitive components. The final thing to consider is the gadget itself. The resistance of a gadget towards magnets is determined by the technologies used in it. As I already mentioned, CRT displays and hard disk drives can be affected by a magnet, but LCD and LED displays and solid state drives won't be. So if you have a device with all the latest and greatest tech, then it should be completely safe and will show immense resistance towards magnets. And I think I covered most of the things I wanted to. So if you feel like I missed something, then ping me in the comments, we shall talk there. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.